Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 Royal. Let's go to bed. In the last episode, we had defeated Okumura Foods. But some dark masked user had a uh, shot and destroyed his shadow, something that Mona told us not to do way back when Kamoshida was our like we enemy. Made a great miscalculation, inmate. Contrary to our assumptions, it seems you have turned out to be quite promising. Your powers continue to grow, as do the relationships you hold with your contractors. It seems the rehabilitation is proceeding at a fine rate. We just beat a criminal. <laughs> Allow me to warn you on one matter. Being at the peak may mean you are mere moments from your downfall. Unexpected situations are necessary in a game, after all. <laughs> there's a... there's a manga. What the... Oh right, his... his dream. Shadow Mona. Dream again. What the hell? I'm human. I have to be. I. There's no way I was born like that. I won't let myself get worked up over some dream. I'm sure everything will be clear if we can get to the depths of mementos. One more Ghana. We were able to get a seat again. Okay. I'm gonna do some of my one. Vague. For girls with unique tastes. Chinese sweets. Chinatown. Hmm? Beyond the Buns, rediscover the charms of Chinatown. Oh. It's Motomachi Chinatown, huh? Wow, the pictures really show how lively the place is. Click. Wow. We finished reading Chinese sweets. We got a new destination. Chinatown. 4,000 years of history. Right. Okay, so these smaller books are good for destination unlocks. Hey there. Good morning to you. Hmm. There are a lot of students here at this hour. It's refreshing to make the work commute at a different time every now and then. Running late? <laughs> <laughs> you caught me. On my way to work today, I ran into these old ladies carrying some heavy luggage. Three of them, in fact. So I was offering to carry their things. But then my back made this sound it shouldn't make. Have you heard of the news from Yoshizawa? <laughs> I'm so happy for her. It makes me feel like I'm doing my best, too. Of course... As I say that, I'm running late. We all need to switch it up every now and then, so let's do our best for today, shall we? That's right, Yoshizawa finished her... Uh... Gymnastics meet. I skipped breakfast, so now I'm hungry! Have you seen the totem pole at the diner in Shibuya yet? Really is a totem pole. So colorful, I just love watching people try to eat it. Who can eat it without it falling over? I'd never be able to do that. Mm. Uh, probably the way it looks. Man. What does it look like? You didn't really think about that, did you? At the diner. 
Well, I have a high proficiency. Afternoon. Oh, have you heard? Have you thought? Have you ever thought your phone went off, but nothing? Phantom vibes. It seems so many of us have experienced this that a term has been created for it. The English name for that particular phenomenon can be abbreviated to PVS, fan Phantom Vibration Syndrome. I need this answer. is something, it's happened so many times. Phantom. Vibration. Syndrome. This is it. Good. The correct English term is phantom vibration system. If you're anxiously waiting for someone to contact you, your brain will apparently trick you. This is an affliction that can only affect a modern society, where being connected 24/7 is commonplace. He's pretty smart. Nice going. Got a roll. Is this a final boost to knowledge? Nope, and I still need kindness. When I was a student, I'd get all worked up for my SO to call me, significant other to call me at night. Nowadays, people complain if you don't reply to a text you just saw. Kind of obnoxious, if you ask me. Okay. After school. Who wants to hang? Okay. Well, I'd love to do these guys, but let's go do death. Go right away. I want to see what happens when I get hey, someone. Doctor, does it matter who likes someone first? What are you talking about? There's a boy I like, but my friend told me that I have to let her have him because she liked him first. Oh, that's not true. Really? Then why did she say that? Likely because she's jealous of you. Just be careful because it might result in pandemonium. Pandemonium? That girl's gotten a lot better. So much so, in fact, that now she's gossiping. She even comes in on days she doesn't have to. It appears she's nearly fully recovered. Which reminds me, the new medicine will be completed soon. Your data has been extremely helpful due to your generic body type and bland health history. Gross. You've been a splendid guinea pig. I mean, participant. So, thanks again. By the way, how have I been doing? Have I been helpful? For your escapades with the phantom thieves, I mean. <gasps> she knows! Uh, what? Come on, you and I both know that you were lying about needing to prepare for the entrance exams. I visited Oyamata in jail. A swing of fortunes like that could have only come at the hands of the phantom thieves. And to have it happen when it did, isn't the only logical conclusion to think that it's you? So what if it's true? A normal person would probably notify the police. Well, I don't care. The point is that without you, I wouldn't have been able to complete my mission. I would have never finished the new medicine while I was being deceived by Oyamata. And I would have never met any of the townspeople. I bet the phantom thieves save people in need. Just like doctors do, huh? So, I'll go out on a limb for you. I'll have even more powerful medicine ready for you. I trust that you'll use them appropriately. So she figured it out. Ah, that's surprising. I am thou. <gasps> thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of death, granting thee infinite power. Rank 10. Increase the selection of revival items at the clinic. You know, All considering right. I lost 
several times. All right. You can now fuse Alice, the most powerful persona of the Death Arcana. I'm not gonna give them to you for free, though. So you better make some money in the name of justice. <laughs> now go. Take care. Okay, so we got our f technically our second uh, max rank. Inmate. I trust you haven't forgotten about your special assignment. We will be waiting in the front, in front of our door. Oh. Father has begun acting a little odd lately. He's been cooped up in his study and his voice lacks energy. That actually sounds quite similar to what Madarame went through. And Madarame still had a change of heart in the end. Don't worry, Haru. Is that so? My apologies. I don't mean to doubt you or anything. Nobody was accusing you of that. People just act a bit weird after their treasure gets stolen. It'd be hard not to worry about a sudden shift. It'll be okay, Haru. Right. I feel better now after consulting with you all. Thank you. Looks like this Okumura case is finally going to have a happy ending. All that we have to do now is wait for his change of heart. Okay. I'm sorry, lady, little girls. But a catchy comes first. I really should be reading these messages. Sorry to bother you. Sorry for dragging you out here. I was out here gathering intel and I noticed some patrons playing this. I did a bit of research. Apparently it's a pretty hardcore shooter game. Do you normally play games like these? All the time. Oh, maybe you've played this one before. I can only ask that you go easy on me. That's some accuracy. That guy with the brown hair isn't wasting a single shot. Glasses isn't doing bad either, but he's definitely losing ground. Okay, I think I'm crazy, but the weird dark armored guy from the last episode definitely kind of felt his gun like it's catchy. My finger's gonna be sore tomorrow. What a realistic game. You took that seriously, huh? Have you noticed? Huh, you noticed? Well, I need as much practice as I can if I'm going to take you out. Only a joke. What? Did I have that much of a scary look on my face? This did feel a bit nostalgic for me. I had a toy gun like this when I was young, you know? All this reminded me of running around the house with it, playing hero. You wanted to be a hero? I don't know that I agree. I'm not totally certain, but thinking back, I suppose I must have. But there are different kinds of heroes, of course. Different stances they, they define themselves by. For example, one may stick to the vision of justice they believe in, even if others deny it. While others may simply do as others desire of them, seeking to be recognized and gratified as a hero. So, which of those two fit more with your conception of a hero? not just doing your justice. Neither, really. You believe there's a third option? I suppose if you're fighting for a justice nobody really wants, then it's just blind self-righteousness in the end. I apologize. I suppose that was a strange tangent. Pardon me. Whenever I talk with you, I can't help but delving into these abstract topics. I think I messed that one up, though. All right. He's rank 5 now. I worked up a sweat playing that game. I must smell like the arcade now. 
I could use a shower. Why don't we call it a day? We will meet again. I wanted to express my gratitude again for today. Thank you for hanging out with me. I had quite a lot of fun. I don't play these games too often, so I honestly wasn't sure how well I do. Hopefully I didn't come off as too much of a novice. I wish I played better. You did fine. I'm honored that you think so. I suppose I've always been quick to grasp the fundamentals of anything, but that's also been a concern for me. There's this constant pressure everyone expects me to be capable of anything, which is stressful in and of itself. Still, games are rather fun. It was quite a novel experience. Usually I just read in my leisure time. It offered more realism than I expe expected, and I was impressed by how immersive it felt. Usually, I really struggle with enjoying the same pastimes as my peers, but thanks to you, I had fun today. I hope you can join me again, if you get the chance. Now, I'll talk to you later. In we go! Oh, that's right, I catch you was the end of day thing. President Okumura! Things, we're counting on you. Take them down. The politicians and Okumura. This place sold out too. All right. When I went to buy a present for my grandchild the other day, they had a Phantom Thieves costume on sale. It spelled the end of this country if kids started wanting to become more like the Phantom Thieves. You are, you're already in your second year of high school. You should have a clear vision of your future. If, you, if you're looking for a safety and stability, a civil servant is a good option. I bet you think that civil service is all office work, but the fishermen of Nag Nagaragawa are actually civil servants as well, so tell me which sector do they belong to? Fishermen. Cultural affairs? Hmm. Memorize Incorrect! This. Imperial Household Agency. Those fishermen who grant... Okay. Wait. Oh. Hmm. I... I didn't think that was an actual question question. I thought that was one of those chalkboard throw questions. Okay. Where can... Ooh. Wait, no, I can't do that one yet. I need... Come on. Let's go this way. To counseling. Welcome. Help him out. Sounds great. Thank you. Thank you for coming. So today I'd like to start off our with our usual topic. Not I had you going there, didn't I? <laughs> You're in for a real treat today. I know it's been a while since you've had one too. What do you mean? Good question. So I recently found this delicious looking buffet. It's apparently very well regarded, has all sorts of cuisines. Well, thanks to your input, I'm making some real progress on my paper. 
I'd like to take you to that buffet as my way of thanking you. How does that sound? Really? I feel like this won't even cover what I owe you after all you've done for me. That settles it then. Okay, let's go. We should head over there now. This must be a Japanese thing, because if my instructors ever took me out to a dinner no. in high school, that would have been red flags. This is all on me today. No holding back. Eat as much as you please. This is quite the spread. Well, all the dishes looked so delicious, but I guess I went a bit overboard. Would you mind if I asked you about something before we eat? It's about my paper. Huh? Shibusawa? Man called Shibusawa. Maruki. Huh? I knew it! Shibu... Shibusawa in the flesh. What are you doing here? <laughs> That's my line. It's rare to see you in a restaurant like this one. Oh, and who might this be? How do I put it? I'm his pupil. It's complicated. We've made a deal. I'm his pupil. Are you teaching now or something? Well, not exactly. This is Raveners. Nice to meet you. I'm Shibu Shibusawa. Was one of my colleagues back in college. He's the one who recommended I pursue a counseling career. And I hear it's been doing you some good too. I catch wind of your going ons every so often. Honestly, it's a big relief. You have so much more compassion than most, but you can also be a bit too carefree. Ugh. You didn't have to mention that part. <laughs> Not that I can refute it. Tell me more about how you've been. Fill me in on this guy too. But aren't you here with others? What about them? We just happened to swing by here. They won't mind me being away for a bit. Do you think you two are really going to be able to tackle all that food on your own? That's... Oh, right. So you're a student at Shujin Academy. They've been on the news an awful lot this year. And that's where you're counseling now? Only part-time. So what are you two doing at a place like this? This isn't some kind of private counseling session, right? He's, well, he's been giving me a hand with my research. I just brought him here as a thank you for all of his help. Research? I had meant to mention this earlier, but my paper is finally almost finished. Way to go. Thank you. It's all thanks to you, though. Paper? The one you were doing research for? You mean you're still? Yep, yeah, I'm still at it. Even after all that went down, you remember what I told you. That I'd finish this paper no matter how long it took me. Maruki. <laughs> you blow my mind. I swear, you've got to be the most stubborn man in the world. Is that supposed to be a compliment? I'm not 100% complete yet. I haven't even begun the peer review process. I'd be more than happy to review it for you. I did perform all the peer reviews for your publications in college. Really? Of course, man. Why not? In fact, that's it. This is officially a celebration. The meal's on me today. I couldn't do that. I'm supposed to be treating Raveners today. Don't worry so much. Don't you want to congratulate him too? Let's celebrate. He's up for it too. <laughs> I do appreciate it, but I have to say, I have mixed feelings about this. Don't sweat the details. Let's go for a second round. We've got to hit up the meat section, and vegetables too, and the beans! That was great. What a feast. I think I've hit my caloric intake for the entire week. I'm gonna get an earful for piling on the pounds. By who? My girlfriend. Well, my fiancé, to be more exact. I'm getting married soon. I see. Huh? Wait, 
Married? Yep, married. You're the only one left from school who's still flying solo. Sorry to pry, but I feel like I need to ask. Are you still... Actually, forget I said anything. You were going to ask about Rumi, right? Don't worry, it's fine. Who's Rumi? She was my girlfriend back when I was still a student. Well, uh... well, I was just too spineless at the time, and we broke up in the end. Hold on. It's not like it's a tragedy or anything, though. She's totally happy now. It's just that I don't feel ready to enter another relationship of that sort right now. This was supposed to be a celebration, yet I thoroughly killed the mood. Sorry about that. It's my bad for bringing it up in the first place. Why don't we wrap things up here? I have to say, it's really good to see you doing well. And with your paper almost finished, too. Keep an eye on this guy for me, alright? I mean, it's pretty rare to see him open up to someone like he has with you. You're talking about me like I'm some sullen kid. I do need to express my appreciation properly. Thank you. Thank you so much for helping someone like me make their dreams come true. Intense trust in me. I'm at rank 8 with the council. Alright. We should get going. Don't forget to send me the paper. I won't. I'll be in touch soon. Okay. Thanks for spending time with me. Make sure you're careful on your way home. Ow. Hey, it's me. I was supposed to treat you out today. Uh, sorry things didn't go as planned. Shibusawa always been quick to offer me his help. Well, maybe it's because he knows I'm a little careless, though. He's a good friend. That's true. He's actually helped me a lot. Running into Shibusawa was quite a coincidence, but a very lucky one. He was the best in the department when it came to peer reviews. Maybe you're bringing me good luck with him too. Or maybe I'm doing too much magical thinking. See you later. Or maybe you're in a video game simulation. Bum, bum, bum. Ah, you're back. Oh. Father was cooed up in his study again today. His reaction was quite vague when I spoke to him, too. Is this what normally happens? Madarame was in a similar state after we changed his heart. It'll be okay, don't worry. All we have to do is wait. You're right. I'll just believe this is going to work. Thank you. And sorry for asking so many times. I'll message you again if there's more progress. I get why Haru is worried. But let's just wait for the change of heart to go through. Don't worry. It'll be just... Okay. She has a request. Let's go to Chihaya. I still believe in the existence of fate. I mean, the fortunes I see have an extremely high accuracy rate. But I suppose my divine power isn't completely absolute, huh? Do you want to test it again? Well, of course. But I'm sure that would only end in disappointment. You know, I've wondered in the past whether fate really can be changed. But I've always concluded that it was something beyond our control. Almost like the laws of nature, eternal, impossible to defy. And yet there exists people like you who can ignore those laws and impose their own will upon the world. How can I become one of those people? Trust in yourself. What? Trust in myself? Instead of my fortune telling? I've never thought of it that way before. This city keeps finding ways to subvert my expectations. 
There was nobody like you back in my hometown in the country. It was a small, traditional town, deep in the mountains, populated almost entirely by older people. That sounds peaceful. During the winter, it's practically inaccessible due to all the snow. That alone should tell you volumes. The youth there are forced to be strictly obedient to their elders as well. Not explicitly, of course. And there's a small shrine in the center of the village. There, I... It doesn't matter anymore. I left that place to come to this city. It means nothing to me now. After I arrived to Tokyo, I found comfort in this stone. It came from someone who dared to care about me, even though I'm just a monster with strange powers. That's why I sell holy stones. I want to help those who suffer from inescapable fates similar to my own. But now I wonder if they really do much of anything. After all, you managed to change the destinies of my clients without one. Is it truly possible to alter fate with nothing more than mere words, attitude, and passion? D Chihaya! If that's the case, I won't be needing this. I'm going to confront fate head on with my own strength. Although the chairman would be really mad if he found out. The chairman? Don't worry about that. Just forget about it. Unless you want to suffer my curse, that is. Anyways, if fate can be changed, maybe even mine can be corrected, right? It didn't work for me before, but perhaps this time. I think it'll work. But right. <laughs> I look forward to our continued exchange, at least until I manage to change my fate. And I'll be sure to put some effort into my fortune telling for you. All right. She's rank four. Well then. Thank you for today. Until next time. Good night. Off we go. Ugh. I'm calling because I wanted to thank you once again for earlier. Thank you so much for today. To be honest, I'm still feeling a bit lost. But talking to you about everything is helping me feel a bit better. Tell me more about your home. What? P please forget I ever brought that up, or you'll suffer a triple threat of tower, devil, and death. Perhaps I got somewhat off topic, but I truly am thankful for your help. I can only hope my fortune telling is enough to pay you back somehow. Even though I can't even imagine changing my own fate. But I will figure out some way to make it happen. I hope I can count on you to help me through the process. Until next time. Friday. Morning. Are you keeping up with the comments online? There's a lot of hate on Okumura and a lot more expectations for us. I hope Haru's dad has a change of heart soon. All we can do is wait. No way, man. Yeah, you got a point, but I'm positive this will make a bigger impact than before. As usual, it'll be a while before we see some results, but man am I looking forward to this. Two messages. Sorry, on Maruki has called me. I'll work on my teams. Thank you. Thanks for coming. You see, there's actually something I want to talk to you about. I know this is a little personal, but you remember how my former girlfriend came up the other day, Rumi? Yeah. We were even engaged, if you can believe that. She was so cheerful. I mean, she could get pretty aggressive. She was always kind of hot-headed, but always so kind, too. She was the best thing that ever happened to me. 
I didn't deserve her, but if we had, if we, we'd had our shot, my life would have been so much happier than it had ever been. <laughs> but reality is never that simple. A burglar broke into her family home. Rumi and I had been visiting. We were there to see what he'd done to them. It was just bad luck. But it didn't end there. He must have been desperate to escape. He attacked Rumi on his way out. I was there with her and I couldn't do anything. Pathetic, right? We were lucky Rumi's injuries were, weren't more severe, her physical ones at least. But the shock of the incident was too much. She had a mental breakdown. We talked to... We talked about that, didn't we? How wounds of the heart aren't as straightforward as physical ones? She never really recovered from what happened, even after all this time. I kind of lost myself in that pain for a while, too. Why? She didn't deserve that. None of them did. None of them did anything wrong. I... Sorry. I'm sorry. When I saw her in that hospital bed, I made a vow. I swore that I'd do all I could to fight back the unfairness of reality. If someone suffered like that, I'd help. Like I said before, Rumi's in a better mental place now. She's happy. But that pain I felt back then, that's how this project was born. And thanks to you, I finally found the true goal of my research too. I don't care how long it takes me. I will make my dream come true. <laughs> for Rumi's sake, of course. But for you too. Honestly, I don't have the words to say what this means to me, but I can at least say this. Thanks to you, thank you so much for everything. Thanks to you, I found my answer. And once it's ready, I hope you'll let me use it to help you find the happiness you deserve. My path is clear now. I should probably use something about the paper. Kind of sad. I know how you feel. It meant a lot to me too. I'll let you know when I finally finish that paper. When I do, I have to thank you one last time. You helped me see my dream through. I owe you so much. No. But for now, I should uphold my end of the deal. You've got a real special one for you today. I think you're ready for something on another level now. Raises the chance of Detox X succeeding. Right. Also, there's one more thing I want to tell you. But I'll save it when I finish my paper. I just hope you can forgive me for it. Uh, sorry. Uh, don't mind me. Sorry that came out too ominous. All right. What is his paper well, saying? See you. In case you would like to stay apprised of the situation, little has changed with my father so far. I appreciate the consideration. I've yet to truly speak with him, though. As I've said before, this is just what happened to Madarame. There's no need to worry. I'm sorry. I know you're all waiting to hear about the mental shutdown culprit. Father is physically weak, so it may take some time. No need to get hasty. He's right, he'll definitely have a change of heart. In that case, ain't it time to be talking about our next celebration party? Too soon, too stupid. What? We can talk about that some other time. For now, let's wait patiently. I'll contact everyone if some anything comes up. Okay. Let's waste another 5,000. Master. Hey. 
Wasting 5,000 yen to improve this. Hey. So, Master, I want to provide more services for you. What are you scheming? Definitely not. I'm definitely not scheming anything, Meow. I just want to get requested more. I'm really good at giving massages, Meow. I'll massage you anywhere. Wow, she wants to give me a happy ending. How was that? <sighs> the thing is, I talked to my boss about picking up more shifts. He said that he prioritizes younger women. How rude. He didn't have to say it right to my face. Age has nothing to do with cleaning a room. And I look damn good for my age, if I do say so myself. The girls in my neighborhood always tell me I'm pretty. And the latchkey kid who lives next door always asks me to tie up her hair. Thanks to that, I'm an expert with these pigtails now. See? So I'm damn good for... Wait, don't tell me I'm the only one who thinks this way. Master! Would you give me an honest opinion? I look pretty good for a maid, as a maid, don't I? Yes, you do. <laughs> really? I'm going to take your word for it. You go out of your way to request me, and all I do is sit here and vent to you. The heck am I saying? You're my student. My double life as both a teacher and a maid is so exhausting. Maybe I let my guard down because you know both sides of me. The more I come here, the more I feel like I can relax. As a maid, I'm supposed to help my master relax, but instead, I'm the one being helped. Sorry. Such a terrible maid. Temperance ranked four. Right. Uh, I have so... to confess something. I lied about the reason why I need to make more money. I don't have a sick sister. All that stuff about the fees and charges was a lie too. I already knew that. I can't get requests unless I make up those types of stories. See, you understand now, right? Nothing good will come from involving yourself with a terrible person like me. It's a good lesson to learn. Let's just put an end to this. <sighs> Thank you for using our services. So does this mean I can't request her anymore? Rude. Even if the CEO has a change of heart, the company's image is still in ruins. I imagine their stocks plummeted. Do you think Okumura really exploited his employees? Every little rumor goes viral these days. What if it was all just a lie? If so, the real victims here are the employees themselves. The rumors about Okumura Foods were all well known in the industry. You're overthinking it. Did you hear? The sports meet went pretty well. The way they overcame all the odds and made it to the victory stand, it was like something out of a movie. They put on a stellar performance this time. They must be training really hard. It's nice to see more people with smiles on their faces now. You actually went to watch? Seriously? I get what you mean though. Maybe I'll go and cheer for them too. Okay, let's go check out Ryuji. Let's go right away. It's been a while since we hung out with Ryuji. He never apologized, by the way, so he's permanently benched. I'm really not digging all this sitting around. 
Might as well hang. Let's go somewhere fun. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. It's probably better than taking him to the Dude. theme park. There's so much new stuff here. They've got everything. Those things were seriously professional. They're like what you find at a gym. Guess you'd get rip if you had one of them at home. I want one. Wait. If you had the cash to buy one, you wouldn't use it. Rude. Thanks. Oh man. I'm not a fan of Ryuji. Uh, you're back. Hey. You have that PC tool set. Oh, a catchy's here. Oh. Hi. Welcome home, Raveners. I hope you don't mind that I'm intruding in your home again. I'd expect we both had a long day. I was out and I was out until now with work, but I think I can finally take a break. You're not planning on anything too strenuous tonight, are you? Perhaps we can walk over to some of Boss's coffee. Not that I'm complaining, but if you two are so tired, maybe you could use a bath more than a coffee. There's a bathhouse right here. What do you want to do? Sure. Let's go be weird and go to the bathhouse together. Oh. Th this is weird. Feels wonderful. It's been a while. Seeing you here is weird. Yeah. So relaxing. It brings back memories. I spent a lot of time in these when I was young. So. Of course, these days, I'm the detective prince, but my family situation was, well, complicated. By the time I was old enough to realize it, my father was already gone, my mother was all I had. My mother worked at a nightclub whenever she had to bring a man home, she sent me off to the local bathhouse. You've been through a lot. It's in the past. I have no reason to blame her either. The only one who deserves blame is my father. The worthless, degenerate excuse for a man who abandoned my mother. I wanted to force him to give her an apology. He owes her. But that's no longer possible. <laughs> I didn't mean to bring our conversation to get so depressing. Actually... Are you alright? I know the hot water can make people dizzy. I'll stay until you're ready. Hmm. I take pretty long baths, though. So you sure you can handle it? It is super weird. This is eyes. super weird. My eyes are burning. I guess it's not that weird. Fire Emblem had things like this. That's refreshing. These really taste the best when you ju just out of the bath. I think I feel a little lightheaded. Guess I win. You sure about that? Your entire body is bright red. This is the first time I've taken a bath like this. I've never told anyone else about my family situation either. 
wonder why I told you. Curious indeed. Because we're similar? <laughs> Dang it. Maybe we are pretty similar deep down. We're both victims of the adults who unfairly impacted our lives. I think you're right. Mm. Yes. I'm even more sure of that after having talked with you. Then again, this probably isn't a conversation we should be having naked. Let's get dressed, shall we? My bond with him is growing to rank six. All right. Hmm. My skin still feels like it's radiating heat. Let's keep the competition out of the bath. Best to save it for the bays, right? We could always see who changes faster. First to leave wins. Are you ready? Goodbye then. See you later. Between the delicious coffee and the bath, I finally managed to relax. So thank you. It was nice to spend the day as Goro would catch you for once, rather than the Detective Brent, you know? And I don't know if it's because of the whole Prince image, but everyone seems to think I'm some brilliant prodigy. It's really nothing like that, but people always seem to misunderstand. If they saw how I was acting today, perhaps they'd say I wasn't acting like the Detective Prince. They'd probably love it. I suppose that's a certain appeal to the Gap, isn't there? But I suppose you're not the only one who sees that side of me. Nobody else particularly needs to anyway. I can't figure out you, no matter how I try. You and I have common ground in some aspects, but in others, we're total opposites. It's intriguing. The more I get to know you, the more it makes me think. I wonder why that is. I'm veering into strange territory. I should let you go for now. And the next day is a day off. So who is... Oh, no one's going to call me overnight? Sad. Waiting for the apology. Maybe they could take down my boss. I dress some losers. Something about a catchy. Well then. Okay. We have an... Pumpkin set. Lantern necklace, pumpkin soup. The ghost repellent. We're gonna go with the first one. The pumpkin ghost set. Okay. Next. Off we go. I really need to be reading these. The occurrence at the public exhibition was quite frustrating. It seems I have not yet grasped what the heart is truly about. However, I have given it a great deal of thought since then. I have something I would like to try drawing. Do you think you would be able to assist me? Yes. I owe you one. After all, this one would be quite difficult to do alone. Well then, come to Inokashira Park. I will await you there. Thank you. Thank you for your assistance today. After all, it would be impossible to sketch while rowing. Why are we in a boat? What other reason could there be but to search for my next motif? I'll be counting on your cooperation today, by which, of course, I mean your oar work. Look at the ducks! They're so cute! Don't get so excited. You'll fall off, you know. Hmm. Perfect. This is it. My previous painting only captured one aspect of the heart. 
desire. As such, I was unable to arrive at a truly authentic representation. That is why we have come today. I shall paint a second aspect, the burning passion between man and woman. Fittingly, our theme today will be the wonders of love. You too will have an important role here. While I draw, ensure the boat remains as steady as possible amid these devilish ripples. Ha, ah, this angle. Incredible. That bashful side profile. The moist eyes. Their overflowing passion is wholly evident. Yusuke, you kind of scare me. They are akin to Adam and Eve, yet in time, all lovers must come to know the pain of separation. Separation is a natural end to any such relationship, but even beyond that, love endures. Precisely, this is the truth of the human heart. <laughs> I will make the most wonderful painting. It shall be adored by all who gaze upon it. It may even be given top prize in the next exhibition. Wait. Now is not the time to be thinking of such trivial matters. Hey. Can you please remain still? What? Return to your prior angle. I must capture your profile. But what the hell are you doing? Rejoice, for I shall preserve your beauty, lo beautiful love so that all coming generations may bask in its glory. Once I complete this painting, you will become new legends of the art world, a modern Adam and Eve. L legends Art? This dude's off his rocker. Come on, let's report him. Hold on a sec. Are you drawing us? Are you using us as models? Yes. A man and woman intimately swaying in the dinghy of dreams, the blush of their cheeks, the bashful looks. Yes, this is the love I was so empathetically searching for. Love? I guess you could call it that, but it's kind of weird. It's familial love. This here is my sister. Told you I didn't want to come here with you. The only ones who do this crap are stupid couples. But I've always dreamed of coming to Tokyo and riding a boat here. Oh, it was supposed to be with my boyfriend, not my brother. How could this be? Familial. So that overflowing passion was just a figment of my imagination? It seems my bias here has caused me to overlook the truth of the matter. Love comes in all forms. Love is a broad, multifaceted beast. This only serves to prove how narrow my perspective can be. I see. Hmm, romantic love and familial love. The two may be nigh and discernible, depending on one's point of view. Hmm. Perhaps the truth of the heart lies in the eye of the beholder. I feel as though I've learned something today. Art talk. With lone shadow fails, you can try again. All right. Wait, so only couples ride these things, right? That means those two. There are people from all walks of life here in the city. Tell me more. What are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> oh! Ah, the power of the rainbow heart permeates through this game. Please, row us back to shore. See you. Farewell. Rainbows. Rainbows everywhere. Thank you for all your help today. I certainly come to realize my lack of experience. It would seem I understand nothing of love after all. Though I've progressed by one step, there is no doubt I will face many difficulties moving forward. When will I fully understand the heart? Even if I do understand it, will I truly be able to draw it? Just keep drawing. 
That's all I can do. There must be something that will come to mind as I continue to draw. Anyhow, today was a significant use of time. Impressive oymanship of your end as well. I hope I can count on your help next time as well. For now, farewell. We're in the evening. Ah, you're back. Indeed. We've got some sooty armor. How about going to the laundromat or selling it? Ooh, finally, classic sci-fi. We will hang out with Futaba. But we will hang out with Futaba next time. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode of Persona 5 Royal. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Mash that like button and subscribe if you have not for more Persona 5 Royal content. Next time we'll hang out with Futaba and continue working on our ranks among our various allies. I'll see you guys then. Later!